In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, using arrays and uh, lists in a bit more detail. The first thing that we're going to look at is how to actually change the values of an array. Now, if I wanted to um, set up a variable, something like this, and I wanted to change the value of it, I could just simply reassign it like this. You know, very, very straightforward. And actually, arrays work in a very uh, similar way. I could, if I wanted to, uh, redefine the whole array here and just put different values in. But maybe that's not what I want to do. Maybe I only want to want, uh, want to change one of them. So for example, um, in position 2, in index 2, um, this person's got a 1. Well, that, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe they didn't get that. So to change just a single value, I need to put the index of that number. So in this case, the 1 is in index 2. And let's say the real score was 15. And let's say it was another mistake. You can see there's another 1 in position 12. So I can simply just put the position number and the new value of the test score. This way um, you can assign single values uh, to the array and it works in the exact same way as you know, changing the value of a variable uh, would do normally. It will assign uh, that new number into the position in the array. Don't forget you must always specify the index if you only want to change one thing. If you want to change everything, you want to put a new array in there, then you would ditch this. But doing this would break your code because what will happen is it's going to replace the whole of that array with a single value which kind of defeats the point of it. Now last time we also had this loop and we said that actually this loop is the bread and butter of using arrays and it is. Let's say I want to do something a bit more exciting. I want to actually do the average. I want to work out the average score. Well in order to work the average out, I need to do a little bit of work. Now first of all, I need to work out what average is. And if you remember, average is adding up all the numbers and then divided by the number of values I have. So I need to add the 40 to the 20 to the 1 to the 49 and so on and so forth. Which means I probably need another variable. Let's say I have a variable called running total. So what I want to do is, as I iterate over it, as I loop over each each uh, each value, I want to just keep a track of it. So I initially start my running uh, total to be zero. Then inside my loop, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do running total plus equals. Uh, actually, I won't use that notation for now. I'm just going to go running total plus. Um, scores x. So remember when I'm looping over this will print out um, the position that I'm at. So initially it'll print 40, then 20, then 1, so forth. So if I run this, not much is going to change yet because I haven't actually told it to do anything with the running total. But as you can see it prints out each number and it tells me the index. x is the index and that keeps uh, increasing each time. So that's what's allowing me to iterate over the loop. By keeping a running total by the end of this loop I will have all those numbers added together. So if I print running total out it should give me the complete answer all added up. So I'm not going to do the maths in my head but we'll, we'll trust that that's the right number. So now that I've got the running total, now I've got the sum of all those numbers, I can simply divide it by the number of scores I have. If I run it in again, I now get the average, which is 28. So as you can see, um, we can do quite a lot of this really, really quickly. Let's say that's not what I want to do. Let's say actually I want to uh, convert uh, these into... Uh, you know, let's say I want to double them for, for argument's sake. I'm going to change the code inside 
and this time I'm going to go scores. Now because I'm going to change the value, I need to assign something to it. And I don't want to change the whole array at once, because you can't do that. I want to do each element at a time. So what I'll do is go scores x times by 2. If I then put another print afterwards, we should see, hopefully, you can see it says 40 index 0, 80 index 0. Let's make that a bit obvious. Something like this. Double that index. Let's run it again. So you can see I've got 40 index 0, 80 double dot index 0. So what's happening is it's taking the score x. Remember x is the current position we're at in the loop. It then doubles it and assigns a new value back to the array. That means it stores that doubled value back into the array so when I do try and print it out it shows me the double value and not the old value. Now so far I've been using two words to describe this wonderful date structure we've been looking at. First of all I've been calling it an array and I've been using that word more than anything else. But I've also used the word list. Now it's time to actually come clean about something and that is that Python doesn't actually have arrays. Um, most data structures will have, sorry, most programming languages will use the array data structure, but Python doesn't. It uses something else called a list. And it's important to understand the difference between the two. They look very similar. They work in a very similar way. The biggest difference is arrays are fixed size. So once you make them, once you define and once you create them, you cannot change the size of them. You can't make them bigger or smaller. You can change the values inside them, but you cannot change the number of values that it stores. Conversely, lists are variable size once created, and you can add and subtract uh, values to it to your heart's content. Lists also offer some extra features uh, which arrays uh, natively don't do. You'd have to write extra functions to do a lot of what lists can do uh, by default. So Python uses lists as its default data structure. So uh, from this point onwards, I'm going to be talking about lists. I'm going to drop the word array. However, if you ever come up to a page or website or anything like that that talks about arrays, essentially they're talking about the same thing in Python. Okay? Um, but it is important to understand that arrays are static, lists are dynamic, mainly because um, certainly for any computing students, A-level students that are out there, you might see the word array in a, um, an exam and actually one of the answers will be it is fixed size. Okay, So always bear that one in mind.